So if you're watching this video, because you're probably wondering if you are tall enough to ride this bike. Right off the top, if you've been following me for a long time, you guys know that I'm not the tallest rider out there. Um, five seven, and do I flat foot this bike? Clearly, no. But I sit on it very, very comfortably. I put on these Vans on for a reason. Most of the time I ride with them. Half of the time I ride with boots on. But as you can see here, no, I'm not able to flat foot it. These are stock suspensions that the bike has. Uh, soon enough, within the week or two, I'm gonna be changing out my suspension, so I'm gonna be going up another inch or so. So I'm definitely, definitely gonna need to ride with boots on. These Vans would not be suitable enough for me anymore. Um, but um, I'm able to kind of play with everything on the ball of my foot. And if I lean it over to the side just a bit, yes, I'm able to hold it flat footed just like I'm doing right here right now. All right, so we'll continue the rest of the video on the road for the single purpose of just for little stuff like this. We're coming to a stop sign. I'm putting my feet down. And um, once again, I'm not able to fully flat foot it. If I'm able to tip it over to the side a bit, Yes, I am. Um, or if I'm able to just kind of like stand up a bit, then I have a little bit more control of the bike. Now, another reason why I've wanted to make this video is because I've just been getting a lot of questions lately since I got the bike. Um, and this question's been obviously from people around my height and even shorter. And they want to know if they're gonna have issues riding this bike or not. Um, like I said, I'm not the tallest person. I'm like average, basically, I'm 5'7", but I feel comfortable riding this bike. Uh, I throw a leg over it, and I don't ever feel like I'm gonna let the bike go, with the exception of if you're wearing shoes and it's raining out, don't, don't. Not, 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 not if, just, yeah, just don't. Just wear, wear boots. It happened to me a while ago, started pouring, and I was in stop and go traffic, and every time I would, you know, put my foot down, it was gonna, it was like a little slip and sliding everywhere. Now, sneakers are not the ideal footwear that you should be riding when it's out raining anyways. Try to have boots on. Because number one, boots are gonna give you a bit more of a height. And two, they're gonna give you more grip. Um, I've been caught in the rain almost every time I ride this bike. Half the time I'm wearing boots and half the time I'm wearing uh, my Vans. And I'll tell you that when I come to a stop, when I'm wearing my Vans, uh, I'm sliding all over the place. And it's very, very, very difficult for me to get my foot exactly where I want to be and get that proper grip. Um, but like I was mentioning before, I'm going to be changing out my suspension either this week or the next week. And I almost likely I'm only going to wear boots whenever I ride because like I said, it's going to give me a another inch of height and it's gonna make it very difficult for me to you know just get the proper balance i mean i, I would i still would be able to ride it but i just want to feel confident and comfortable enough where in at any event where i want to put my foot down i'm not going to be worried about you know dropping the bike Now, for a lot of you riders, you guys are probably watching this video right now. You're like, what are you talking about? Dude, what are you talking about? Yes, you're not going to go what I'm talking about if you are of a person of tall stature. If you're 5'8 and above, you're not going to know. If you're 6 feet, you're not going to know because you don't have that issue. For us normal sized people or shorter individuals, yeah, it's a bit of an issue at times. I'm actually gonna be getting these cool boots that give you like a good two inches in height. Um, my boy Sal, he got them. And he's he's like my height. And I mean, with those boots on, he, he feels very comfortable when he gets on his bike on, uh, on his Street Glide. 
And um, yeah, I mean, two inches is a lot, man. It's definitely gonna give you the 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 comfort and confidence you're looking for when coming to a stop sign, when coming to any stop if there's rain on the floor. If you're wondering what pipes I got on, Chrome works. Now, one of the big reasons why you should have the proper fitment when you know riding on a bike like this is because of the weight of the bike. These bikes are extremely heavy when you're at, at, at a stop. When you're going like right now, obviously look, you could literally throw these bikes around and yeah, it'll go wherever you want it to go. But when you, this bike is at a stop and you put your feet down, you want to make sure that you're gonna have the proper grip where this bike is not gonna tilt or fall over. Because these 800 pounds are not to be taken lightly <laughs> whatsoever. Once it starts going, it's gonna be pretty hard to keep it up. And it could be the simplest thing. It could be the simplest thing as you come into a stop sign, you put your foot down anywhere where, you know, it might be wet, it might be some wet grass, it might be some oil on the floor, some grease, whatever it is, and your foot could just literally slide away, slowly but slowly, or slowly but surely, and yeah, the bike would just slowly just start going down, 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 and yeah, you're, you're, you're not gonna save it. So let me see, we're here, we this red light. As you can see, if I just tilt it over to, over a little bit, I'm able to fat foot it, put most of my weight, put all of my weight um, my right foot here and I'm fine I'm comfortable I, I'm not you know excruciating with pain and it's not heavy it's not leaning on it because I mean the bike is balanced itself it's, it's sitting on two wheels do the same thing on my left but if I want to balance both feet out sitting back I'm only gonna be the balls of my feet now if I push myself forward a bit and I kind of like going if I'm going to like a like a stand-up position then I'm able kind of to almost flat foot both of them now if I had boots uh, the boots that I have, they're, they're they're Levi's. They're not like you know riding boots or anything like that, but they they do have some height to them. Then at this point, I will be flat footing it, which is great. So some advice: if you are on the shorter end, get yourself some some boots. They're gonna give you some nice height. Um, always steer clear of any wet grass, any oils, any grease you see it on the floor, especially those white lines. Those white lines when it's raining. These white lines right here, yeah, those, those, those are crucial. Those are one of the main reasons why a lot of even veteran riders go down at times because those white lines can be very, very slippery when it rains. That's gonna be it, guys. I just wanted a brief little talk about that just because I've been getting several, several questions about it. Um, I'm gonna catch you in the next one. Like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Yo, shout out to the US Marines, man. Peace. Oh, peace.